What's up? What it do? Y'all already know it's your girl copy back in the building. About boom, you already know. It's our you already know it's your girl copy back in the building. You know what I'm saying? Where we keep it brewing and where we keep it icy, baby. So ha. So today's video, I really, really, really wanted to do a hygiene video because I'm always getting compliments on my hygiene. Not trying to pull my own horn or anything, but it's like, you know, true is true. So I'm like, you know what? Let me put my girls on because I feel like not a lot of people, people be putting y'all onto BS. They don't be putting y'all onto stuff that you can get at like the big supply store at like Walmart and stuff. They be putting y'all on all that like Ulta and TJ Maxx and stuff. I ain't got time for all that. You know what I'm saying? Like, girl, I'm trying to give you where you can go directly and get it and be in it. You know what I mean? So today, we're gonna have three different topics that I would like to touch on. We're gonna talk about showering, hydration, and then we're gonna also talk about inside, like inner health, okay? So let's start off with shower. I wanna show y'all a couple products that I use to shower, but what I wash my ass with, um, I only have one soap here right now. My other soap is at my homegirl's house, which is crazy. But me and her, we literally sitting there like, girl, I like that soap. She's like, girl, I like that soap too. But I'm like, girl, she's like, girl, I'm like, I'm gonna keep it here, but girl, mm. like every time I go over her house, I don't take a shower before I go so I can take a shower at her house because I love that soap that much. But it's the ivory soap. I'm gonna place up a picture right here either ivory soap or i have been absolutely loving the method body specifically coconut rice milk and shea butter one specifically that one and i'm gonna say that one for a reason but these two soaps really 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 clean you very well every time i get out of the shower i feel clean like i don't like with dove i feel like there's like a layer of film i, I feel like there's a layer on me still and it's just like i don't feel all the way 100 percent clean like i should be those two soaps do the job um and the reason why i most definitely like the coconut rice milk and shea butter method body soap is because of the hydration a lot of soaps leave you dry and that one just feels hydrating like i feel hydrated <laughs> okay let's move on to coochie soap this is such a big dilemma in the girls community right now honey pot i still ain't never forgave you and I will never forgive you. You turned your back on us, traitor. I could never. There's only one soap that I found since then that just worked. And it is most definitely the Dr. Bronner's Unscented Baby Soap. Point blank period. I don't wanna argue with y'all about this. Y'all already know. Stop using stuff down there that got any type of scents. All them feminine products that be talking about Japanese cherry blossom, cut it out. You should not be using no scents down there whatsoever. Like period, you should not be using no scents down there ever. It cleans, it gets you good, and it gets your pH back right, and it don't have none of that extra stuff. It's pure castile soap. You can't beat it, you can't beat it, you literally can't beat it. Another thing too that I want y'all to cut out in y'all showers that I'm just not a big fan of. All them sugar scrubs and dubs and wubs and bugs, all that extra stuff, you don't need all that. What you need to get is you need, I don't even know what it's pronounced specifically, so let me not look like a damn dummy while I'm sitting here talking all this mess. Whatever, what's that cloth? It's a cloth that Africans use. It's a specific cloth they use, but that cloth is the most exfoliant. It gets you clean, baby. You can't tell me you ain't never washed your ass good unless you wash your ass that African exfoliating rag, girl. I'm gonna place it right here so y'all know what I'm talking about. But get that instead of the dang sugar scrubs. That is what's gonna get the dead skin off of you and give you that infinite glow. So let's move on to moisturization. Uh, ooh, the moisturization is definitely like a part of smell goods and all that. I'm gonna let y'all know what, what brings out a boy to my yard. You know what I mean? First things first, I do not use regular lotion. Please put that regular lotion down. You know, I don't even understand why you're still buying Jergens. What are you doing? Girl, go get you some baby oil, go get you some, or go get you some cocoa glisten. I use 100% glisten. That's it, that's it, cause it really, it's thick and it moisturizes your skin and don't you don't it don't stay on your skin as thick forever. Your skin really absorbs that glisten and it really, really, really works. I kid y'all not. It, I kid y'all not. I be moisturized all day with my glisten. Now, here's the key that I put into my glisten. As you can see in my glistening bottle, y'all see that little yellow line that's on the top? That is my perfume. I do not, and I quote, do not wear a single Sprays. No, because sprays are infused with alcohol. Alcohol one doesn't stay long, and two, it just dries out. It doesn't. Um, it doesn't combine with your skin's chemistry at all. It literally just sits on top and then fades away. I don't like it at all. And then two, the smell with perfumes just fade away, and it just starts smelling like alcohol. You know. 
so let's not do that but I want to give y'all what <laughs> I use but not the name body oil that's it get you some body oil I'm gonna show you mine real quick there is mine girl I'm gonna show you my body oil real quick so this is my body oil um the body oil that I use is is most definitely from Dubai not trying to feel like I'm so fancy girl and nah, 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 nah. but if you know about perfumes and if you're into perfumes, you know for a fact that Arabic scents are the strongest and the best selling scents that you will ever find in life. Best, 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 best. Get up, take it last to the beauty supply store and get you a little bottle like this. When I don't have my ooh, like my good stuff with me, I use a little bottle like this. I know y'all have seen them. Any beauty supply store that you walk into will have a rack of oils just like that. Use the oils. Get off that Bath and Body Works spray. Uh, let the people in high school little school have them because they're just now stepping into like learning how to smell good. But as adults, grow up. We gotta grow up. We gotta grow up. I will not sit here and allow y'all to keep using them cheap ass perfumes when you could be using this cheap ass body oil and it lasts 10 times longer, smell 10 times better. Like, what are we doing? Okay, let's get into our body. Ooh. So, when we talk about our bodies, a lot of y'all don't understand that odor is deemed from within, not without. Therefore, you going out and working out for 30 minutes is not the reason why your ass is must. No. What you eat, what you consume, what you drink, um, any and everything that you put inside of your body has to be pushed out. So if I'm putting junk in my body, what, what do you think is being pushed out? Junk. So <laughs> I'm not telling you to put down the sodas and put down the juices, even though that's exactly what I want you to do because I ain't even gonna lie, girl, I be cheating too. But I do want you to incorporate at least minimum four cups of water a day. The normal amount that they ask for is eight, but I'm gonna ask for four. Let's just start somewhere, let's start halfway. You can schedule four cups of water, preferably eight ounces. Now you really could do it big and just drink four water bottles a day and that will equate to eight cups of water a day, but it doesn't. So y'all get what I'm trying to say. Just drink either four water bottles a day or four cups, whatever. Please make sure you intake a good amount of water every day. Your body needs to flush it out. Not only do I want you to drink water, but I want you to actually be hydrated. I want you to actually, 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 legitimately, literally be hydrated. So liquid chlorophyll people, please listen to me when I say liquid chlorophyll i'm not saying that to be no oh my gosh a plant-based life no i mean it's from the bottom of my heart y'all i can not take a shower one day go run 15,000 miles and come back and i own, own everything i love i don't smell i can go two days without a shower and i won't smell i'm saying i've tried it because don't try me i just know like i won't smell i don't smell and i'm not i'm gonna keep it so buck with y'all a couple of months ago i noticed my body chemistry changing because i was starting to smell and I started to smell way more frequently than what I've never done in my life. Like I would take a shower and like six hours later, it's like, the fuck? Like this is not me at all. And I realized it was because I became so heavy in fast food and in like sodas and just nasty ass food, grease, all that. And you know, too, I was bumping and grinding with the, with somebody I wasn't supposed to be bumping and grinding with. Y'all females already know how to go like, you know, your body's not supposed to be in uh, body chemistry throat. Y'all get it. So as I'm fixing myself, <laughs> I got real back heavy on my liquid chlorophyll and it brings me to my next one, fenugreek. You will smell like maple 24 seven. I kid you not, you will not have to fight hygiene if you just take those two things. Kid you not, kid you not, kid you not, kid you not. So that concludes my video on how to start off the year with great hygiene from coffee. And I hope y'all really like this video. If you really like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, you know, do the whole bang with bowels. And y'all already know I'm gonna see y'all next video because it is what it is and it is what it ain't. Bye bye.